Biden aides meet in Michigan with Arab American and Muslim leaders. Dearborn, Michigan. AP. Top Biden administration officials were meeting Thursday with Arab American and Muslim leaders in Michigan in an effort to mend ties with a community that has an important role in deciding whether President Joe Biden can hold on to a crucial swing state in the 2024 election. He is facing increasing backlash from Arab Americans and progressives for his vocal support of Israel since the October 7 attack by Hamas against Israel although Biden has insisted he is trying to minimize civilian casualties in Gaza. More than 27,000 people, mostly women and minors, have been killed in Gaza since militants attacked Israel on October 7, according to the health ministry in the Hamas-ruled territory. Hamas killed more than 1,200 people and kidnapped about 250 more, mostly civilians, in its attack. Michigan holds the largest concentration of Arab Americans in the nation and more than 310,000 residents are of Middle Eastern or North African ancestry. Nearly half of Dearborn's roughly 110,000 residents claim Arab ancestry. Dearborn is one of the few places where you have Arab Americans in such a concentrated area that your vote can actually matter, said Rima Marawa, director of the National Network for Arab American Communities. So it gets the attention of elected officials, because if they want to win the state, they're going to have to address this population. After Republican Donald Trump won Michigan by fewer than 11,000 votes in 2016, Wayne County and its large Muslim communities helped Biden retake the state for the Democrats in 2020 by a roughly 154,000 vote margin. Biden enjoyed a roughly 3 to 1 advantage in Dearborn and 5 to 1 advantage in Hamtramck, and he won Wayne County by more than 330,000 votes. Amana Ali joins about three dozen people protesting Israel's attacks in Gaza, Thursday, February 8, 2024, in Dearborn, Michigan. The protesters gathered hoping to be heard by members of the Biden White House who were scheduled to meet in suburban Detroit with Muslim and Arab American leaders. AP Photo, Carlos Osorio, the White House, and Biden's campaign, are keenly aware of the political dynamics. Biden's campaign manager, Julie Chavez Rodriguez, and other campaign aides went to suburban Detroit late last month, but found a number of community leaders unwilling to meet with them. Biden traveled to Michigan last week to court union voters but did not meet with any Arab American leaders. Administration officials making the trip to Michigan on Thursday included Samantha Power, head of the U.S. Agency for International Development, Principal Deputy National Security Advisor John Finer and Stephen Benjamin, who directs the Office of Public Engagement, a White House official said. Among the Arab American and Muslim leaders they were meeting were state reps. Alibas Farhad and Abraham Ayash, Dearborn Mayor Abdullah Hamound. Deputy Wayne County Executive Assad I. Turfi and Arab American news publisher Osama Siblani. Farhat, Ayash, Hamoud, and Turfi are among more than 30 elected officials in Michigan who have signed on to a Listen to Michigan campaign and pledged to vote, uncommitted, in the state's February 27 presidential primary. Imran Salha, Imam of the Islamic Center of Detroit, told reporters before a protest Thursday in Dearborn that he is calling for all people of conscience to vote uncommitted in the state's upcoming primary. We're going to have the conversation at the ballot, Salha said. The main thing, it's about the bombs. While people are talking, bombs are falling. The only way for us to converse is to add pressure. About three dozen demonstrators chanting, free, free Palestine, and Stop the Genocide, marched from a shopping mall parking lot to near a hotel where the meeting was expected to take place. Some walked with children or pushed kids in strollers. I'm 100% Palestinian, said Amana Ali, 31, who said she was born in the United States. I feel the need to fight for where I came from and where my people came from. Aruba Elder of Dearborn said new words are needed to describe the atrocities being committed in Gaza by the Israeli army. We've passed brutality. We've passed every word you can think of to describe a humanitarian crisis, Elder said. She.
said she hopes this protest and others like it continue to create awareness. You can't give. It's worked in the past, hasn't it? She said. Associated Press writer Colleen Long in Washington contributed to this report. Community activist Adam Abusala joins about three dozen people protesting Israel's attacks in Gaza. Thursday, February 8, 2024 in Dearborn, Michigan. The protesters gathered hoping to be heard by members of the Biden White House who were scheduled to meet in suburban Detroit with Muslim and Arab American leaders. AP Photo. Carlos Osorio. Imran Salha. Center. Imam of the Islamic Center of Detroit and Lexis Zaiden, left, addressed the media before joining about three dozen people protesting Israel's attacks in Gaza, Thursday, February 8, 2024 in Dearborn, Michigan. The protesters, gathered hoping to be heard by members of the Biden White House who were scheduled to meet in suburban Detroit with Muslim and Arab American leaders. AP Photo. Carlos Osorio. Lexis Zaiden yells chants to about three dozen people protesting Israel's attacks in Gaza, Thursday, February 8, 2024 in Dearborn, Michigan. The protesters gathered hoping to be heard by members of the Biden White House who were scheduled to meet in suburban Detroit with Muslim and Arab American leaders. AP Photo. Carlos Osorio. About three dozen people protesting Israel's attacks in Gaza gather. Thursday, February 8, 2024 in Dearborn, Michigan. The protesters gathered hoping to be heard by members of the Biden White House who were scheduled to meet in suburban Detroit with Muslim and Arab American leaders. AP Photo, Carlos Osorio.